All right, septic arthritis. Septic means bacterial. Arthritis is inflammation of a joint. So it's um, infection of a joint leading to inflammation. It's usually bacterial. If you have a young, sexually active adult, the bacteria is usually gone. It's probably gonorrhea. Remember, that's sexually transmitted, and it can you can get it and through sex, and then it goes through your blood and it hits your joints. If it's a child or an older adult, it's probably Staph aureus. For test purposes, that's pretty much all you need to know. Remember, that's gonna that's gonna come up a lot. This distinction, so just remember that. Sexually active, it's probably gone. It's a lot of times it ends up being gonorrhea. If you're not sexually active, a lot of time it, times it ends up being Staph aureus. Clinical features is pretty much the same as everything else. Um, again, it's inflammation. You can get it pain, warmth, redness, swelling. Um, the key factors here are that. You're gonna have very, li very little range of motion, and you're gonna have not not gonna be able to weight bear. So septic arthritis is it's similar to the arthritis and the joint inflammations that we talked about before, but I'd say this is a more severe one, and this is actually more of a surgical. This is a more of an emergency because you can get destruction of that joint pretty damn easy. And when you um, remember, we always talk about synovial fluid analysis. You aspirate that fluid from that swollen joint. You're gonna get a septic synovial fluid. Remember we talked about some some places some uh, diseases had um, non-inflammatory fluids, some had inflammatory. But this is this is next level stuff. This is septic fluid. This is over fifty thousand. It's purulent. It's a bunch of white blood cells. Um, and then if you actually if you you can actually culture and stain it, and you will get a positive culture and stain. So this is what septic fluid looks like. It looks like frankly inflammatory pus. From imagine that pulling that stuff out from your joints, kind of gross. Now I want to do also a brief overview of joint fluid, which we've talked about. This is going to summarize everything. So normal is going to look clear. That's how normally your synovial fluid looks like. And it's going to be a low level of white blood cells. It's going to be less than 200. If you look at the neutrophil percentage, that's the PMN, polymorphic, blah, blah, blah. It's less than 25%. Next is the non-inflammatory. Remember what disease had that? Remember that was osteoarthritis? And that will be also clear, but it's going to be between 200 and 2,000. And it's also, again, again less than 25%. Remember that, that neutrophil is really a sign of acute inflammation. Next is inflammatory um, joint fluid. What diseases that we talked about ha would have this? Remember we talked about how rheumatoid arthritis had this, gout has this, pseudogout has this. Remember gout and pseudogout are pretty much the same so, um, clinically. And this will be translucent or maybe a little bit okay, opaque because there's a little bit more white blood cells here, 200 to 100,000. It can be over 50% of neutro, um, consisting of 50% neutrophils or more. Finally, remember we talked about this is the big boy, this is the bad stuff, septic arthritis, septic fluid. It's opaque, it's purulent, it's over, over 50,000. But it can, it can be more than 100,000 if you want. And it's a high percentage of neutrophils. It's very, very prevalent, very infected. All right, so that's it for our septic arthritis talk.